Let's face it, we all gotta get around somehow, and most of the time, we don't think much about it. But now, you're gonna meet some super bouncy cute ones who have figured out that jumping is not only the best way to get around, it's also the most fun. Today, we're visiting some of the world's best high-flying hoppers. Australia's kangaroos, of course. The springy bouncers of Africa known as Thompson's gazelles. The mysterious mini-jumping jerboas of the Arabian desert. And Madagascan sifaka lemurs, who spend so much time jumping, they've forgotten how to walk straight. No matter their size or their style, leaps and bounds are the remarkable talent of these cute ones. Our first family of jazzy jumpers can only be found in Australia. Kangaroos, or as the Aussies like to call them, roos. This adorable fellow is an eastern grey roo. He lives in a humongous family group called a mob. Each mob can have over 100 members. That's a lot of brothers and sisters to have to get along with. But sometimes a big family has its advantages. Everybody in the mob watches out for each other. And there are plenty of lookouts to keep an eye out for dangerous predators. when an aggressive wild dog called a dingo gets near. This mama roo signals to her family, and it's a mad dash to safety for these roos on the run. Kangaroos actually aren't really running the way people do. They're not thrusting one leg in front of the other. Instead, they use both legs at the same time, springing off the ground like a basketball player going for a jump shot. And they can do it again, and again, and again. In fact, Roo's legs are so strong, they can race along at about 40 kilometers an hour. And no one's there to give them a speeding ticket. A typical kangaroo hop is about a meter high. And when Roo's are really going for it, they can cover eight meters in a single leap. That means Roo's can just about beat the Olympic long jump record on every hop. It's usually plenty fast enough to escape and let predators know they better look somewhere else for their next meal. Kangaroos aren't fussy eaters. They'll eat whatever happens to be growing in their habitat, as long as it's not meat. These cute ones are strictly vegetarian. And after a hearty lunch, it's playtime. Definitely a very friendly mob. Of course, even best friends can run into rough spots. When male roos are all grown up, they sometimes fight to see who's the mob boss. And it sure looks like boxing is their favorite sport. Kickboxing, that is. Eventually, cooler heads prevail and they calm down and return to being cute ones. Roos are marsupials. That means mom has a built-in baby buggy to carry around her precious cute one. A baby kangaroo is called a joey. At birth, a joey is only 20 millimeters long, about the size of a bumblebee. But even though they are so tiny, joeys somehow figure out very quickly how to climb inside mom's pouch 
and start drinking milk. Clever Joey's. Ah, life for a baby Roo is so relaxing. No wonder Joey's aren't in a hurry to leave the snugly comfort of mom's pouch. In fact, they stay in there for almost a whole year. And then it's another six months before they're ready to leave mom's comfy pouch completely and join the mob. This cute one seems to be saying, one more day, please, it's so nice in here. Not every Roo lives in the cool, grassy part of Australia. A lot of them live here, in the rocky, dry Aussie desert. Wide open spaces means the Roos here have the perfect racetrack for practicing their high-speed maneuvers. And they don't seem to mind the fact that there isn't a tree or shrub in sight. These cute ones are called red kangaroos, and they're the biggest, strongest, and fastest roos in the world. Red roos are the largest marsupials on the planet. And don't let that adorable exterior fool you. These guys are tough cookies. Red roos live in a part of Australia where it gets very, very hot. Temperatures regularly top 50 degrees Celsius, 120 Fahrenheit, and no air conditioning. Red Roos are experts at how to live happily in their harsh desert environment. During the day, they don't use up a lot of energy playing or goofing around. Instead, they spend their time looking for food and water. This thirsty mob search has paid off. The roos find a small swimming hole where they can drink and cool off. Unlike the cafes and fast food joints a lot of people are used to, these desert drive-ins are few and far between. So it's not surprising that this mob of fuzzy red roos is not alone. A pack of dingoes lurk nearby. They want the refreshing water for themselves, and they aren't going to let the roos stop them from getting what they want. First, the thirsty mob doesn't realize one of their adorable joeys has wandered away from the family. He's completely unaware that a pack of dingoes has caught wind of him and are preparing to pounce. One of the wild dogs swoops in towards the unsuspecting joey. The dingo will not be satisfied until he has the baby root in his jaws. But mom catches a whiff of the advancing threat and moves quickly to put herself in between the dingo and her joey. She alerts the mob to run for their lives, and most of the family hops to safety. But mom stays behind to protect her little one. Don't mess with a mama roo. She won't hesitate to attack any animal that threatens her child. You would think that the dingo's powerful jaws and sharp teeth could easily overpower such a funny-looking creature as the kangaroo. But looks can be deceiving. This mamaroo is prepared to fight to the death to save her joey. A kangaroo's powerful kicks and sharp claws make for a deadly combination, capable of dispatching a dingo with ease. But this mom would rather scare the vicious dog away than kill it. The dingo retreats, realizing he's no match for a mama room protecting her child. Then mom has to give her cute one a lesson in staying close to the family. This cute one's lucky to have such a devoted and powerful mom.
16,000 kilometers away. The African savanna is home to all kinds of amazing animals who share the riches of this magical land. And it's home to one bouncing buddy whose superpower is speed. He's called a Thompson's gazelle, sometimes known as a Tommy. This little Tommy is hanging close to his mom. He's part of a small, high-flying herd that absolutely, without a doubt, belongs to the cute one's family. Look at these Tommies go. They are the springiest four-legged friends in the world. Herds of Thompson's gazelles can number over 100, and every herd has its own territory of delicious grass. These grasses are a precious food source for the gazelles. In the dry season, they can get scarce. So sometimes dad has to step in and let other males know, hey buddy, find your own grass. It's not a real fight. They just butt heads a little to prove who's stronger. And mom seems to be saying, watch carefully, cute one. Someday, that will be you. These kinds of fights between herds are pretty common, especially when there's not enough grass to go around. But even then, sometimes it's better to just move on than try to fight with a bully. Life on the open plain can be very dangerous for the gazelles. You never know when a hungry lion might be lying in wait, waiting for a chance to snatch up a vulnerable cute one. Luckily, this lion is busy caring for her cubs. But that doesn't mean there is no danger. Hyenas are always on the lookout for a tasty snack and think nothing's tastier than a baby Tommy. And usually, when there's one hyena, there are more nearby. Hyenas are intelligent and deadly scavengers who have no fear of stealing fresh kills from lions, leopards, and cheetahs. But their favorite prey is the bouncy, four-legged variety, a tender, cute one. Hyenas are extremely stealthy. They lie in wait and then run at their prey at full speed. It's time to flee, cute ones. Good thing a hyena is no match for your speed and endurance. Gazelles can sprint at more than 65 kilometers an hour and leap over three meters into the air. So long, hyenas. You'll have to snack somewhere else. Usually gazelles can get a solid head start over predators. A special leaping motion called slotting signals to predators that they can't catch the gazelles. The Tommies have made a safe exit, and as a bonus, they've discovered a new grazing ground. This little one bravely held his place with the running herd. He's earned a well-deserved pick-me-up of his mama's milk. It's time to leave our bouncing buddies on the savanna and head north to the hot, hot sands of the Arabian Desert. Only a few kinds of animals call this inhospitable place home. And the cutest, jumpiest desert denizen is a very unique little rodent called the jerboa. But where is this tiny, cute one? There he is, see him? The jerboa is digging out from its burrow under the sand. That's the tail. Funny, isn't it? This cute one is just now coming out after a long day sleeping under the sand. Not because he's lazy, but because it's too hot to be outside when it's daytime. But now that the sun is down, the tiny, shy jerboa comes out to play and search for food. Grubs. Yum. Jerboas are amazing jumpers. 
Think of them as the mini kangaroos of the desert. Their long tails are way out of proportion for their size. And, well, so are their legs. Predators don't know what they're in for when they try to chase down this rascally rodent. The desert fox is a superb hunter, fast, strong, and clever, and hungry for a jerboa appetizer before dinner tonight. But this jerboa has bounced right back to its burrow and quick as a wink has buried himself deep down into his sandy hideout. But this only offers temporary relief. The fox has tracked the jerboa scent and is about ready to start digging. But the brave little jerboa is too clever for even the wily fox. He's figured out that there's a back door at his house. And off he goes. Poor fox is still at the front door wondering what happened. This mini kangaroo can jump over three meters in an emergency. Remarkable because that's 10 times their body length. And when the fox catches up with this adorable speedster, that's okay. Our bouncing buddy just shifts into overdrive and hightails it out of danger. Sorry, Mr. Fox, no dinner for you. Pound for pound, Jerboas are the superheroes of the rodent world, reaching speeds up to 25 kilometers an hour. Amazing! And that's not all. Mother Nature has upgraded these cuties with a secret weapon that makes them even speedier. Check out those hairy feet. It look like he's wearing bedroom slippers, but those hairy feet keep the jerboa from sinking into the desert sand. It makes him as maneuverable as a fighter jet. Sorry again, Fox, but he's really too fast for you. The jerboa might be funny looking, but he's nobody's fool. And so this little cute one makes his escape. He'll live to play and jump another day. About 400 kilometers off the African coast lies a huge island known as the Eighth Continent. Madagascar. The island is known for having some of the strangest and most diverse wildlife in the world. And it's also known for being home to some of the very cutest cute ones you've ever seen. Say hello to the famous bouncing buddies of Madagascar, the lemurs. These cuddly, fluffy mammals are very social, gentle, and peaceful. Lemurs come in all different colors and shapes and sizes, but they are all part of one big happy family of cute ones. Ring-tailed lemurs are probably the best-known members of the family. But they're not the only ones. To see the funniest guys in the species, it's best to look up, way up, into the tree canopy in the Madagascar rainforest. That's where you'll find the outrageously adorable Sifaka lemur. Hello there, cutie. Sifaka lemurs have spent so much time in the tree canopies that they've forgotten how to walk straight and their feet can barely hold them up. That's why you'll almost never see one on the ground. No one wants to be made fun of, after all. These leaping lemurs are much happier flying from tree to tree and proving to everyone that they're some of the best jumpers in the world. And when they do occasionally hit the ground, well, check this out. Look how high they can jump. They can clear distances of over 30 feet in a single bound. That long fluffy tail isn't just for show. It helps lemurs balance as they leap quickly from tree to tree by jumping with their powerful hind legs. Their nimble flying through the forest helps them avoid the clutches of the lemur's biggest enemy, the fossa. 
these agile, cat-like creatures enjoy nothing better than hunting and eating delicious little lemurs. They are public enemy number one as far as the lemurs are concerned. And they have a special warning call to let their friends know when danger is afoot. Lemurs know it's time to hide when they hear the call. But if they can't hide from the big bad fossa, the Sifaka lemurs have extra quick reflexes and giant jumps that help them stay away from the cruel jaws of the fossa cats and go back to living the high-flying life with their bouncing buddies. Although they live in the trees, Sifaka lemurs like to hang out with their families just like most people do. Lemur families have between three and 10 members. And usually everyone gets along just great. These extra cuddly cute ones like to be very close and do almost everything together. They eat, sleep and play together all day long. They even like to groom each other. In fact, it's one of their favorite things to do until somebody decides it's time for less bathing and more goofing around. Hey, get your feet out of my face, bro. These lemurs have spent so much time in their treetop home that when they do have to get somewhere on two feet, it looks so silly. Things look good for a while, but one false step and Whoops. Okay, take two. This guy is definitely telling his buddies, I meant to do that. It's the Sifaka's strange gait, caused by their usual lifestyle of jumping sideways. Like the kangaroos, they just don't remember how to walk normally. They never move one step at a time. It's more on a jump to jump basis. like everyone's gone mad today. Now back to the safety of the tree, little Mr. Sifaka. They are one classic example of this very special brand of animals we call bouncing buddies. Like kangaroos, gazelles, gerboas, and lemurs. They navigate through the landscape as if they can fly like a bird. Their incredible, gravity-defying leaps make them almost impossible to catch and also make them almost impossible to resist as they are definitely some of the world's most lovable-looking cute ones. <laughs>